is a catchweight contest consisting of six five-minute rounds. One fall, one submission, or a knockout to decide the winner. Between on my right and in the red corner, the British heavy middleweight champion from Salford, Mark Rallaby Rocco. His opponent on my left and in the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen, the Southern England heavyweight champion from Croydon, Steve Reader. So it's old favorite Steve Vidor. I haven't seen him for quite a time. Steve Vidor, uh, now of Wallingham, but formerly of Ellesmere Port. 15 stone one, Mark Rocco of Manchester, 13 six. And of course, as you probably know, grappling fans, Mark Rocco took the heavy middleweight title off Burt Royal recently. Burt Royal had a pretty long as the title holder in the heavy middleweight division. In fact, more than 3,000 fa 3, fans packed into Bellevue, in, which is Rocco's hometown, of course, to see the contest for which Rocco had trained down, especially to make the 13-stone five-pound limit. So Mark Rocco, who missed the light heavyweight title, the vacant crown taken by Marty Jones, we probably saw that on television, because it was a great bout. Mark Rocco... Now the heavy middleweight title holder, Great Britain, but he missed the light heavy. Side headlock now to Rocco. Rocco, of course, easily distinguishable there. His name right across his front, stars all the way down the side. Curious gear he wears, but very sharp, very slick. And a very, very slick wrestler. But I don't think we've ever seen him on television against a man of quite... Steve Vito's weight, 15 stone one, Rocco at 13, six, and it. He's only just in the heavy middleweight bracket. Of course, the man in the ropes, whose man was, was down, and we are not happy about that, and we don't blame him. Typical Rocco trick. Six five-minute rounds, one fall decides this. So the first fall is the one that matters. Full on body check. Vito quite happy to go into it, but he came out worst. Rocco's so quick. Not that Vito's any slouch, but he really is quick, this boy Rocco. Lovely backdrop. Vito went into that superbly. A couple of minutes to go in this first round of six. Just one fall as the Vito never I don't think quite settled yet at all. He's not used to the speed against him as fast as round one. Unhappy and doesn't like very much the treatment he's getting from Rocco, coming a little too quick when he's not off the deck yet. So a side headlock to Vito, countered there by the double handed face bar, temporarily. And again. Ah. 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 Ah.
Just a minute left in this first. One, two. And Rocco doing One, very well against the heavier man at the moment. One. Nice bridge out of trouble by Vito there. It's time he started using the strength holds. Not first time. Right on the bell now, round one. And Vita taking over as the bell goes. Vita still pretty angry about some of the treatment he got from uh, Rocco in that first round. And can't blame him. The referee trying to intervene without delivering too many public warnings too early. I uh, can't quite catch what he said there, but he's certainly complaining. Second goal, round two. Round two, five to go. Choppy intended. <laughs> Still, Vito hasn't really started the strength holes. Now, maybe he comes. Using his weight now. And it's about time. That's quite unnecessary and a public warning for it. Two, ladies and gentlemen, the first public warning to Mark Rocco. See so how quickly Rocco follows it down. Great move. He didn't leave go at all then. Didn't release. Followed down to the Left turn anchor. There it is. Oh, yeah. Well, he asked for it. He got a bit too near the ropes. And the referee says, OK, let it go. Rocco started the illegal moves. Rocco complaining now about Vito's treatment. He's only just a little retaliation naturally allowed. He started it in that first round. Body scissors now, Vito. Just what's happening in front there, but he's, Vito is tearing for the ropes there because there was something a little dicey going on the front there, very hard to tell, and not sure the ref knows, but Vito knows, and he's really angry, and in come the punches, the first punch to Vito, public one. There are a few public warnings flying around this afternoon. That's the sixth so far today. I've never seen you like it.
Guido getting very definitely warned now, but privately after that public warning. Reminded, not too much of that. But he's only retaliating, that's all Vito has done so far. He's just coming back with the same treatment. Oh, oh the ref got that one. Quite unintentional, I'm sure, but Vito delivered that inside of the arm shot, and the referee caught it on the side of his head. That was a, surely a punch, that first one. Vito gone really angry, and he's got a second public warning for that. This is not the Vito we know at all, but Mark Rocco is back, Vito is out. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has given a second and final public warning to Steve Vito. Well, how about this? Two public warnings against Pete Roberts in the last bout, and now two against Vito, two of the most sporting men in the business. Half a minute to go in this third, the second round, sorry, second round. And most of the bout seems to be going on outside the ring in this one too. Vito's on his way out if he continues that. Rocco, not happy with his landing, but it's, it's an illegal move that put him there, so therefore it doesn't worry him too much. He doesn't have to hurry. He's, the bell any second anyway. So, this is a different Steve Vito, the one we used to, but Mark Rocco, of course, who started it all, we expect it from him, Rollerball Rocco from Manchester. And complaining about the butt uh, or the punch of the head, which I thought the referee took most of. Second round, round three. Round three, four rounds to go, one fall to decide this bout. Steve Vito at heavyweight, 15-1 versus Mark Rocco at heavy middle, 13 stone six. Rocco in the white boots and the wrestling gear, the stars down the side there. In fact, both men actually old, dressed in yellow here this afternoon, which is sad. If you're lucky enough to have a color television set, but they look white on my monitor. <laughs> Nicely timed back elbow, but Vito, okay, not stopped himself by the bottom rope. <laughs> nice drop kick, that's more the Steve Vito we know. Great timing. And Rocco a bit mad with that one. Walks into a forearm smash. Oh, yes, good forearm. We were out, but not too bad. Oh, that was a dicey one, too. But blind side of the ref looks very dicey. And Vito out again over the top. Let's see how he landed this time. He's getting counted, so it was a perfectly legal move to put him there. Good body check and Rocco out through the bottom two. There's more of the bike going outside the ring than there is in here this afternoon. It's quite incredible. Oh, nicely taken. Over the top for a side press. Yes, he's got it. Rocco won't like that, but it was a beautiful side press. Lovely folder. Vito the winner by the 1-4 required. Thank you, Mike. And with that, we hope you enjoyed this rather unusual afternoon's wrestling from Edmonton. Goodbye from all of us here and have a good week.